Good morning everyone, how are we all today? Here we are, back Russian fishing for, and here we are at Winding Rivulet. Um, why are we here? Get a rod or two in the water. Simple answer is, um, it's been running hot here for uh, trophy white bream. Simple answer, and we don't have one in our bag, or on our trophy card I should say. So we're going to have a go for a while here, see if we can't uh, just remedy that. As you can see, the spot's uh, 9103. We're hitting a clip of 10. Okay, the bait set up in uh, thick. Uh, I'm not sure how well they bite at night, but uh, anyway. Uh, now they're all but all the baits set up the same in all three. So the uh, caramel and cream brulee eight, old pal cream. Um, now we're also going to throw out some uh, ground bait. Um, and where are we? And. Where is it? Here we go. White bream. And this is what it looks like. Ground foods, bloodworm maggots, caramel, and cream below eight crust, caramel attractant. So we're going to throw this out for uh, how far we're going to have to go for 10. Get close. Another one in the middle there somewhere. Got a leaf in there. And uh, we'll just see what happens for the next, uh, <laughs> well, whatever it takes. We've certainly got to sit out a daytime session here, so uh, we're going to be here for a little while. Right, number one. No, thought about it. Um, once we catch this, uh, once we catch this guy, we'll be uh, we'll be out of here. And uh, moving on to donuts. Where we'll probably do some uh, float fishing. Okay, don't look like you hooked up there. Yeah. Certainly getting a few bites here. Can't complain about that side of it. I think from memory the guy we get, he's got to be uh, 800 grams, I think. Seven oh seven. how close first one? Eh? How close on the first one? Little bugger. This one doesn't feel as big, unfortunately. Obviously, anything that's got a tag on it, we'll be keeping because it's uh, worth some money to us. We need to make money while we're doing this. I do think uh, I do have one different size hook on one of them, but uh, I think they're, they're medium 11s, 10s, and 11s. That's what we're fishing with 10s and 11s. And a 3.4 kg leader. There was a guy that actually put this first spot up. He used a 6.8 um, camouflage, red covered camouflage leader. I'm using fluorocarbon, which is what I caught one on at uh, Old Boog a little while back, for those that may remember when we uh, they sat one around for a little bit. As you can see, we've only got uh, 66 of each boiler left, so uh, <laughs> let's hope we get him in that stage. I did hear of someone last night had in excess of 120 of them and still didn't have the uh, trophy. Let's 
that we're a bit more lucky than that. But if we're not, if we get 100, well, we only got 64 left. If we get 64 in the bag, then uh, rest assured we'll be able to uh, go and buy some more. Go on here. Doesn't appear there's any shortage of them here, does there? We just got to get the one we're looking for. That looks a bit small. No, he's still got a tag on him. Okay. I didn't check the cafe to see if there's a cafe order for them. Um, I don't really care. I just want the trophy. And then we can be done here. I just hope that first one we caught at 707 wasn't a troll fish and uh, not going to give it to us. Oh, there's certainly plenty of them here. How many other people fish in this spot? Only four people. Okay. I'm just seeing one other name come up in the in-game chat. Or a number, actually, not even a name. Yeah. Nine, nine in five minutes. Nearly got it on the first one. Anyway. Nope. I honestly can't remember when I got the one at Oldberg if I got it at night or in the daytime. It was a while ago, so I really can't remember. And a totally different bait setup as well. Totally, totally different. And that one was a... Um, what was it now? Bloodworm and something else. Um, yeah, number 10 boys. Oh, this could be it. There's a little bit of weight on this guy. No, I don't think so. No, oh, Jesus. Pulled hard for 400.
But last night I was uh, watching Mr. Crossy. I don't know if you guys ever watch him. Um, not only does he stream Russian fishing for, he actually uh, loves IRL carp fishing in England as well. So he streams that a lot. He's also pretty handy with a whittling a knife and a piece of wood and, and uh, making shapes and stuff out of them in little animals and things. So if you ever uh, ever seen, well worth the watch. Uh, but he was fishing uh, Sabursky Donuts last night just for the float. That's what we'll be doing later. Um, yeah, just catching a whole swag of different types of fish and um, catching some real small stuff like way under half a kilo and get like 2,000 XP for them. So go and have a go at that. Definitely don't do enough fish in there. Raviston, how are you doing? Worming over. Hey, how are you going, guys? I see that uh, everybody else can catch a trophy white bream here. So we thought we'd come and give it a go. So far, we've got uh, a dozen in eight minutes. And the first one we got was 787. Anyway, yeah, man, I can do that. Uh, they're all they're all the same. Oh, there is a difference in hook size. I've got a 10 on one of them, I think. Uh, yep. This is probably a bit of overkill, but they're the smallest ones I've got. I do have some stuff to make slightly smaller ones, but... I found you got to have a fairly low uh, leader here for these stuff, and that's going from the one I caught at um, Old Berg. Um, we tried a few different uh, leaders in there, and it wasn't until we got down to that. We were still catching uh, white brim, but we, <laughs> yuck. Um, we couldn't catch the trophy one until we got down to the 3.1. So, hopefully, all fishing now, nothing over 400 grams. Where at? Yuck. And we get one get away from us, a little beggar. Get it all in the bay for that shit. Uh, I threw a heap of ground bait here as well, so I'm not sure if that's helping. I guess it is. If I get a, <laughs> if I get a chance, I'll um, show you the ground bait. But if you saw the post on, um, I think it was on the Hotspots page, I don't know, or was it on the RF4 Discord, I think. Uh, whatever he had in his PVA, I got mixed up as ground bait, so. Um, where are we? Yeah, so I threw out five pieces of this, so this is exactly the same as what old mate had in his uh, PVA. I don't know if that's making a difference or not, but can't be hurting, can it? Thirty nine. Oh, you can't make it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's well worth uh, spending the money to level up your ground bait to 100.
I'm not, I've done it on a non-premium account. It cost me a fortune. It took me a long time, but I got there. So there's certainly plenty of them here. <laughs> 17 fish in 12 minutes. We've got a couple. Like the first one we got was close, 707. It's got to be 800. And then this guy's 639. So keep plugging away. Hopefully we can get this little trophy and get it over and done with. It's probably the longest I've gone without a bite. I think you're very patient, uh, Grab. It's time to sit there for an hour for full fish. I think I ought to check out before then. Now we get two biting at once. Okay, though. I think you're small, but anyway. Yeah, the other day when I was at uh, Blue Wee Wee, Mosquito chasing that, that trophy Chinese sleeper there, when they were running hot, uh, I caught a few. And then I sat there for 22 minutes without a bite. And then the next bite was a trophy. I hope we don't have to go through that day. Play Super Auto Pets and Home 4 is slow. <laughs> yeah, I've been able to pick up the phone and have a quick uh, candy crush or something. If it's uh, particularly slow. Not much of a own games player, but when I used to do the uh, flights from Australia to Thailand, nine hours up in the air, but that's something to do for nine hours. Of course, I haven't had to do that for a few years, or a couple of years at least. Free on Steam or Brown. Ah, okay. I'll have to look into that. Sounds like it might be interesting. Although I spend so much freaking time on this game, um, I don't know really have time for anything else.
I normally get out of bed about seven in the morning and I'm straight onto the computer. Turn based. Oh, okay. Nice. And uh checking all the overnight websites for this stupid game or who's catching what where. Making notes, taking screenshots, copying ground boat. I played on top of our file, okay. Yeah, if I'm not streaming, I'm, I've normally got, um, I'm watching someone else on one screen and then playing myself on the other one. But last night I watched uh, Panda for a bit and then um, Mr. Cross here after that. Uh, a little bit of safety ray this morning. Potential? Nailed it. That didn't take too long at all. All right, we can go now. <laughs> Bear is hot right now. I'm going to go to um, Donuts. I'm going to float fish for a little bit. I was watching... Um, Watching Mr. Crossy last night and uh, catching a whole heap of different types of fish. Now I went, I went there um, and I caught a heap as well. Um, yeah. So. There is the first one at winding is the white bream. <laughs> He yeah, just got there too, seven grams over. Right, that's all he has to be. I do have it, mate, but I don't have the premium account to be able to send it to you. Yeah. Yeah, I certainly did. I've even got a um, dry mix of it as well. But, um, yeah. I'll definitely send it to you if I could. Of course, when it comes to uh, the cafe, there's never one when I want one. So before we go in there, how long will it take us? 20 minutes. 23 fish in 20 minutes. So how much money did we make in 20 minutes? 100 bucks. I'm like bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could, mate. Well, that's not bad. I'm nearly 100 bucks in 20 minutes. We can live with that. Now, I should uh, I should sell these. Like 9853. We'll take them to uh, Donuts and see if they're worth any more. Yeah, it's a bit sad I can't do that. Give it to you because it's it's like it's not like I'm gonna rush back there and uh and use it again. Yeah. Hundred and fourteen. That's different different nice little pickup, isn't it, for free? Sixteen silver. I right, need to keep that in mind if uh now put him up there. I bought this rod on the uh recommendation of um where are we going? Is this what we want? Yeah. Of uh Mr. Crossy. Has been uh good value. So uh what have we got set up here? So he recommended this, this rod because uh, you get 100%, 100% uh, XP bonus. Very, very light rod though. So probably here, maybe you could use it at winding, but you should have to be careful there, I think. 
Um, I end up with a fly. I think that was the last one I was using last night. But I try to hop with me. We'll try a whole heap of bait here. Um, and the same as the depth. I don't even know what I'm at here now. Well, we're up high. So we'll go back down again to about 80. We might even try to... We did pretty good on casters yesterday. You have bad luck with it, really? I, uh, I've got to admit, I, I mean, I don't catch every fish on it, but uh, I caught a lot of fish yesterday, uh, but a lot of them were not tagged, so I didn't keep them. But uh, still got a nice variety. I can't remember which one it was now, but there's was, there was one of them there. Um, got over 2,000 XP for it. This is what uh, Mr. Crossy was chasing last night. Uh, they're not worth any money if they don't have a tag on them. I think he had about 10 of them and they were three cents each. So we won't worry about keeping them. We'll see if we can't pick up the uh, variety of fish that we did yesterday. I was kind of hoping to give me a decent float fishing boost as well, but I don't, don't really think it's done that. Well, I think this is one of the, the, the prettiest maps in the whole game. We got a lot of these yesterday, a lot of small ones like this as well. I don't know how long I spent here. I think uh, Crossy said he spent three and a half hours here, but he moved up and down a bit as well. Ah, that, that happened to me a lot yesterday. Um, yeah, we might move around a little bit as we go. I did note a couple of spots where he fished last night. So he got lucky with certain fish. But this was by far the most prolific and the biggest variety was here. Stay down there. Right. Uh, we got him this time. Sometimes it's a length of time. I've got to leave it down there. Oh, 44. I think that's hard. We've got point 0.2 there. We'll keep an eye on that. I, don't, I can't remember what I started on yesterday. It might have been 41. Quickly look at... Uh, no, that was 41. So this was... 40, higher than 41. He, he actually uh, put a leader on there at one stage, one and a half kilo leader, I think, and uh, he got busted off on that. But other than that, he was pretty good. I mean, he, he had got the sandwich bait and they the mile ahead of me in that respect. White bream. Well, we just finished catching you guys, but he's a lot bigger than you. So, so far, I think we caught four fish or five fish. We've got nothing in the bag. So, pretty much how it was last night as well. Yep. Yeah, every time. We've got to leave that one maybe one or two seconds longer, I reckon. One, two, three, four, five. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, how much longer are you going to leave it?
Some of those pumpkin seed fish were pretty aggressive last night, especially if you've got a tag one. Ah, come on. This is the worst. This is why I don't float fish too often. They don't suicide like uh, the carp do on the carp rods. We got this one. Pumpkin seed. No, it's sort of a pumpkin seed fish. Oh, still can't get a market. Uh, let's put a mayfly larvae on it. So, yes, yeah, so if you fish this spot here, you can muck around not only with the bait, but also the depth. Uh, you can go down to, I think, a deeper size, a bit over a metre. And I fished up as close as 40 centimetres, I think. Caught fish on pretty much all of them. I should have left a fly on there. There's a qualification. You've got to catch um, a dozen species of fish on um, insects. I think when I started last night, I had six out of 12, and by the time I finished, I think I've got 10 or 11 now. Match that one. See if we can't at least get a tag on this fish, please. Come on, get up. Hey, one kilo chub. I think there's other fish I'd rather have than the chub, but uh, anyway, there's an XP for that. I don't think I'd like to catch uh, a chub too much bigger than that on this rod, though. It looks like at the moment we're keeping sort of one out of ten. The other nine don't have a marker on them. Hope that changes a bit. Might change the depth on the next one. See what we can find. Nothing on this one, I think. And what are we at? Stay down to a metre. So we can find anything. Maybe the casters might have been the best bait yesterday, followed by the fly. We did cut a few, few on this and a few on stonefly as well. I think we've even got a couple on caddisfly. Doesn't look like the mayfly is the uh, right flavour at the moment.
Not that they look very successful. Uh, we did do a count on plugging them yesterday too, actually. Bloodworm didn't work too bad. If anyone doesn't know, later on today, we're shutting down the server again for a bit longer than normal, actually. Um, what's the time? My time, nine thirty. Nice, highly happy fish. And a point five there, a point one there. It's not so bad. We're going up a little bit. Um, about what was it six hours or seven hours? We're shutting down for seven hours, so we only go fishing in this game today. Better jump in quick. Ha. Always seems to be if it's in that area from that dirt over there, it doesn't matter long or short. If it's in there, half the time you don't hook up. And that's only a, an observation. That seems to be the area that'll lose the most fish. But if we go down further past that, I seem to get them more often. I'm not sure the quality of hook I got in either. I, only a little one, I can't remember. I probably bought it when I was level two or three or something. Hopefully, we're going to go past it this time, then we'll see. <laughs> Look, right on the edge of it. Go on, get down there further. Look at that. None of a gun. How do you beat that in this game? But as you can see, there's plenty of bites here, so there's plenty of fish. They're uh, just, a, just a matter of uh, hunting them down, I guess, and trying to find somewhere where the tag fish are. I'm conceded it. Yep, not big enough for a tag either. Um, let's raise him uh, other way, dickhead. We'll raise him up to about 45 again. Six or seven, six will do. And we're going to chuck a fly on. Let's see. They can see pretty much every boat we've put out there, apart from the Mayfly, but I got bites on it yesterday. But we haven't had a bite on the Mayfly today. And we've got a few bites in down around a metre, so. Uh... So far, they're not liking the look of the fly. I think they've done a far, far better job with this map than they've liked the, uh, the Bear Lake with the old blocky old reeds and stuff they got there to bounce around. This place looks a lot more natural than... Uh, yeah. I mean, this will be a place you'd be happy to go and spend some time in real life and sit under the shade of the tree and 
throw a line out. Refreshing ale or seven. Icy cold. Nothing on the fly. Okay. So that's all I was doing here, just muck around with the depth, muck around with the bait. Um, we tried bark, and we tried bark beetle larva, we tried maggots, cat fly, we tried all these. I uh, didn't try a horse fly. Um, Arses seem to be real popular as well. I can't remember the names of all the fish we caught here. I think I caught 11 species in this spot yesterday. Down it goes. Now, will it stay down and give us a fish? No, of course not. What I bream with mayfly larva and a pick a rod clip twelve. I need a, I need that for a qualification actually. I think I can do it on either a feeder or a picker. I'll check. I know Mr. Crossy had a had a um, he had a feeder rod out for part of his time last night. I don't know they got anything real decent on it. Nothing this time, by the look of it. Sometimes you get a late bite down here, but not too often. Not oh, a wrong spot. Up here to the west. Is there one up that way somewhere? a couple more casts here if we don't uh, we might change the depth again and a different bait next one but no, there we go now we're we gonna hold this one or not yep the first piece okay I'll keep that in mind we might we might end up going that way a oh, nice smiley fish I think I got one of these yesterday uh I don't know if it'll be still there but it was an ultralight um weekly about that weight as well well, I mean, look at this, 1,500 for a 455 gram fish. That's uh, more than a four or five kilo mirror. Only 30 second walk, okay. Gonna stay down, go on, get down there. You just don't know, do you? Just don't know. Yeah, you might get him. That was a big dive at the end. Think a little perch. Go away. Well, a few of them yesterday as well. I don't even think I got a tag one though, that small. And down pretty hard. A dice. We did catch one of them yesterday, but we had a tag on him. They're not worth much.
I don't know how many fish we've caught in total, and we've got two in the sack. <laughs> Gone under again. Up again. Uh, I didn't think we were going to get that one. Put a caster on there. Yep, back to the pumpkin seed. Well, at least he's got a tag on him this time. Go in the bag. Yeah, I didn't go anywhere further up the river than here yesterday, so we'll wander up to that uh, that pier shortly. Oh, yeah, that went down hard, didn't it? Another tag fish. I don't think they're worth much. That sun there right now, I can't even actually see the... Uh, Float in the water. Thank God for the little box that you can see it in there where it's gone. We missed it. Let's put the bark beetle on to see what happens. In the bite, there it goes. Pumpkin seed fish will eat anything. They're not a bad looking fish, they look good in an aquarium. As long as you have good lighting in there to keep their colours up. Nah, 10. Graviston, 10. Let's go for a walk. Obviously, we don't have to go too far. I'll be able to get through there, are we? No, no, no. I love this about some of these trees and shit in this game. Go up to the west. Next one. Must admit, I've never been up here, so uh, I don't even know what I'm looking for here. Don't walk around that tree with you. Well, it must be this one, eh? Um, yeah, I think. Okay, beautiful. I gotta think of the go up a little bit. Don't know about what size hook we should be using here. Be picking that my for them, yeah. But I I'll go up ten. Somewhere I've got my fly, there we are. Yeah. I think we'll just go with one for the minute. We'll see what happens.
My fly larvae? Okay. See what we get. I'm guessing the old uh, bite rate will drop off on the float overnight. Yeah, we'll give it a crack for a couple of minutes. Not a big deal to bring it in and change it if it doesn't work. Got a bite here. Now what do we got? Yeah, they're the ones we're looking for. They're good. 1300. I remember these pay pretty decent as well. I think we'll stick with this uh, setup right now. I was to recall someone in uh, Crossy's chat last night saying the Shimoes were the best pain of all the fish there that he had. But they're not getting a bite in our mayfly at the moment, so we might have to change that one over and try the larvae. Another bite there. Oh, it's up again. Blue vanilla, but we still can't get a tag on them. Uh, let's uh, change the save of the larvae. See if we can get a bite on that. We've only got five in it. Well, we'll get an instant bite on that one. Only got five fish in the bag. And I reckon we caught 15 at least. One's going under again. Well, it's not working out too bad at all. One get up. Smiley fish again. Got a tag on it. Oh, we get smiley fish off there as well. <laughs> okay. They got a uh, tag on them. They're good enough for me. Getting whacked on there again already. There, so there's a little fish hooked on there already. We'll just run this one out a bit. Rich. 
Hope we don't get them. Well, I don't mind catching them if we catch a trophy, but. Um, go a bit further, I think. Short cast last time didn't work. Uh, 23 minutes, we got eight in the bag. Not a great, not a great bag limit, but it's not the bite rate, is it? I mean, you've got a far, far better bite rate than that. Just there's a lot of small stuff here. Got to work through the garbage. I definitely think the float works better in the daylight hours. Down on there. That's what we're at. Let's uh, go down a bit. Two fast bites on the bottom rod and then. Uh, on a little quiet. Around four, eh? Okay. Three to four. <laughs> yeah, well, we can certainly leave it out there for a while. We're, we're not in a rush of doing anything today, that's for sure. Uh, and some bait here, I think. Bug worm again. Right there. That's gone down pretty decent. Another comment. A little bounce there. Look up, though. We've only got a short bit of line on here. Let's try a different smaller hook, I guess.
Our depth change doesn't appear to have worked here. Picking up anything uh, down lower. So we've been going just over an hour, so I guess our, our bite rate for the hour is pretty damn good, seeing with what we caught in the first 20. Um, we just haven't caught too many here. After. And we'll go to the... I say our bite, our bite rate's awesome, it's just our keep rate's not matching the bite rate. So we'll probably stick it out here till roughly, um, well, at least till 4 a.m. and see what happens with these wide-eyed brim and maybe a little longer if we catch something. We'll, we'll shoot further down. Um, well, it actually looks like more, more east anyway. A couple of spots down there that we fished yesterday, they did okay. Biting on red worm. Well, we can certainly change that, or we can chuck out another one. Up that a little bit, same as what we did the last one, and we'll go. Why not put a small one on there? Getting the bite on that one. I think I saw somewhere, it might have been on the on the Discord, a, a wide-eyed brim, but I can't remember where it was, or what, even what map it was. Normally, normally I'll write them down if I see them, but I can't remember writing one down for it, that's all. I'll float fish and see sort of uh, oh, in the button here a little bit. Playing with it there or not? I think it might have been. Got something on this other rod happening here. Another chub. 
he's got a tag on him so he can stay. Get him down on meter, I think. That can be a magic number. Oh, another one on there already. Oop, wrong number. Push the wrong button. Push the wrong button, son. Probably got away, do it. Yep. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Right. Having too much luck with the uh, float rod here right now. Must be nearly coming up the sunrise here. What's going on with this? Uh, Yeah, I wasn't, uh, wasn't sure if that was dragging on the bottom or not. Well, there's a wide-eyed bream <laughs> on the float. So your timing was right, Graviston. Between three and four, that one took a caster off the float. Right until eleven or so, okay. I'd like to find something uh I'd like to bite on the depth I'd like to bite on the float. What we haven't tried today, we haven't put our uh, stonefly on. We'll try that. What have we got to lose? Not much. They will or they won't. I guess that's the only way you can look at it. There's a daybreak coming now, so hopefully the uh, boat will pick up. Boy, look at that go. Common roach. Boy, that took off. I would have thought it was a lot bigger fish than that. I thought we were going to get a bite there. A float there. Oh, partially submerged. But the stone fly may be pulling it down that far.
Folks, if we catch one at 1.2 kilo, we won't complain, will we? Hard to know there if that's something back on that or not. Uh, fuck little lovey again. Oh, I are up to a dozen fish in the bag with a couple of common roaches, so I'm just chuck in there. Those stonefly larvae must be quite heavy. They make this float sit way down in the water further. All right, and no fish. <laughs> See how long my attention span is for putting up with that. Right over here on the red worm. Uh. Another common, is it? Yep. Oh, plague proportions of them out here. Are we on that? Well, you can say there's plenty of fish in this uh, water body, but I don't think you're going to make a lot of money somehow. I'm going to eat any bloody thing. I might have a fish on the float rod there. Or not. No, just lay it over. All right. Back up. And the scooter flying around in front of me. Uh, let's try 75. We haven't done that. Wait and see what happens here with the little flashing light going on here. Oh, God, you bloody thing. Seriously? That was an effort and a half just to get to that. Another common roach. Alright, let's see how we go again.
couple of bikes on the bottom rods and the old flakes uh, not doing so well. All smiling, bye bye. Not a small fish here. Oh, we finally caught a wide eyed bream. Too small for us, though. But we got one. You bloody thing, seriously. Um. I really don't know here now. Never tried 50. Uh, go back to Bloodworm. So, just wait and see what happens here for a tick. Something taken off on that one. Smiley fish, too small. Oh, I think we're caught to. <laughs> God knows how many, how many species have we actually got in the bag? Well, not that many. Only five. But we've caught a lot more than that, species wise. Yeah, I'd love to find a few more of those Shimeas. I've got a spot there that they were biting yesterday. We might go down there. In the not too distant future. Yeah, of course you would. Well, there's another one. They're still not big enough for a tag yet. But they're getting there. Get extra for letting him go. I don't mind that. Not more luck. There'll be a trophy order for. He could have filled a trophy order somewhere. Down on here. Nothing. Am I going to go or not? Yep. It's just another how big those uh, what I bring have to be to get a tag on them. So I gave up on us. Let's get the flat back out then. Now he's going to hook up this time. A 
There's no shortage of fish here, that's for sure. At, at, at both spots we fish. Another comment. Um, we're going to move in the not too distant future, go to another one. Hopefully we can uh, pick up a few of the black shimayas there. That'll be the target fish. Yeah, we got one here this time. And another tiny, tiny nice. It'd be nice just to catch a few more tag species. You've only got one or two of those. With nice, I catch them like bloody, almost like common roach everywhere. In fact, that other spot we were at, at the boathouse there, um, Crossy last night was calling it the nice hole. Catching that many of them there. I think we missed it. We did. Aga. Yeah. I wouldn't mind trying the other little uh spot with the with the two uh the two feeders and the spinner. I think um I think the spinning down there's better than here. Oh, sorry, the float fishing down there is better than here. I don't think I've ever done ultralight spinning here. I've got, I've got the, uh, got the um, ultralight setup for it. He's a little fat little nice that guy. I got real I think that's probably um deal with this guy first. There you go. Got a line going left and right. On there, I don't think he's very big though. Yeah, I like, I like, I like the place to fish. One again, yep. I mean, you could just just as easy have three uh, bottom feeder rods out there and be busy. Getting plenty of bites here. Uh, we hit an hour yet? Not quite. Now, out of all, we still got 18 tag fish in an hour. I mean, they're not going to be worth a lot of money, but uh, water rate. Yeah, not bad, mate. Um, as you can see there. Been under an hour, but I mean, there's nothing special there, but uh, they're all tagged. Uh, the first 20 minutes we spent at uh, winding to catch a uh, trophy 
white bream, which we achieved. And uh, I remember how many we had in the 20 minutes we were there, but it was a lot. We got 114 still before when we sold them here, when we got here. So it's been pretty damn good at the moment. I'm supposed to be float fishing here, but I hardly have time to get the float out. These two are keeping me a bit busy. Trying to catch a wide-eyed brim here. Uh, caught a couple, but uh, not a tag one. Yeah, just a little different. I'll tell you, if we if we just stayed up winding and we kept hitting those white bream, how hard we were hitting them, you'd make more money there than you would at Amber in an hour. Easy. I think we had like 25 or... Uh... Hey, we'll bring a 664 here, don't buddy. Good to see you here. Yeah, I think we had like 25 fish or something like that, and there's 114 silver in 20 minutes. But there's good fish here as well. We were catching last night on uh, on the float, not in, in this exact spot. You got 17 and a half. Well, it's not that bad, really, if you haven't got that ground bait. Another happy fish. Yeah, in the white rim spot, yeah. Yeah, I think the ground bait there made the key for me anyway. It worked really well. There we go again. I'm going to course you too close. Why wouldn't you be? Got another comment. Kill these little beggars here, but anyway. I could catch one, one tagged, uh, where's my float going? Bugger. I could catch one uh, tag wide-eyed brim, I'll be happy and move on. Um, ah, sweet. Oh, I know who that was as well. <laughs> I think his name probably again with W. And he's a gentleman like that. Yeah, uh, get what we got this time. Lo and behold, be another common roach. It's going again. Now, are you going to hook up this time? No, of course not. Maybe I have to wait longer for that to show up. Oh, I've done that, man. I've tried that a few times. Oh, on the bottom ones, you reckon? Um, we can do that. We'll put one on here and see what happens. And yeah, we got one there as well. Plenty of these guys around. Twelve thirty. So we're probably past the peak time, I reckon. We'll give it a few more minutes here, we'll see how that bark beetle goes. And then we're uh we can see if we can catch some of them black chamayas. Uh 
but sort of we've picked up a bit now. 22, we're under an hour. I reckon we caught at least 40 fish. At least. Oh, there we go. Down on there. I'll park this one up once we get this in. This is on the bark beetle. Let's see what it is. What the target species is it? It is, and it's got a tag. There you go. We got one. Uh, okay, I think we better give this another go. Better give that another go. Yeah, exactly. First bite in the bark, but yep, exactly. Good call, mate. Good call. I think we're just about out of line there. That's all that's doing that for. Yep, yeah, we'll give it a second go. See if we can get another one. You should say for the sterlet, yeah. It's something I've never done, you know. Never done it, and uh, I guess I should be doing it one day. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe. I mean, everything's worth a go. So we'll, try, we'll try two bark beetles out there, see if that uh, helps us. Maybe get rid of those commons. Five minutes. Yeah, I was watching those. I don't know, I forget I forget who I'm watching half the time. Um or it may have been getting a few oh a few cats as well, yeah. Whoever it was that I saw, it caught a uh, caught some sterlets. <laughs> Catch them on here as well. Um, but they'd also caught a trophy eastern bream. I don't know if that was on the same setup or not. Yeah, no, I don't want cats either. Hi, oh, Gorstan, how are you today? Oh, I aim a catch here. Yeah, no, I could, yeah, I could do with a few of them. I've never caught one. Yeah. All right. There's these two bottom ones. We'll catch one fish on each of them and then uh, we're going to move. Yeah, I don't know whether. Uh, I caught it on the, on that same spot, that same setup, or I, I didn't see it, so I've got no idea. But we tried fishing for Eastern Bream yesterday, and I uh, got zero. So forty-one, one, two, three, night crawlers. Okay. Cast. Funny, and I've got a spot written down in my little book here, 4134, which is right where you are, on a clip of 50. So that'll be pretty much uh, actually mixed PVOs. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to. Uh, I'm just going to adjust that one and uh, yeah. 
yeah, it'll be something for me to try. I'll um, I'll definitely go and investigate that one. We're going quiet here. We're going to we're going to run down the lake a bit and see if we can um, find a spot where the uh, the maids were yesterday. Um, change pages again. I was on the wrong page of my book. I just struggle to find that one. There we go. Forty on two. Okay. Yeah, I, I wrote it down off someone else's whatever someone else had done previously. So um. Yeah, I've never actually tried it. This one I had written down for future. I think I've got to run around up over the top here. I can't get through any other way, I don't think. Okay, fifty fifty five is uh, may well have been the stir. It may well, I didn't write the fish down. The same stupid fault, but it may well have been a um, sterlet spot that I was looking at. May well, I don't mind catching sterlet as long as they're sort of uh, not too big. All right, mate. Take care, Graviston. Thanks for dropping in. Much appreciated. And uh, thanks for all your tips. We've done well. So uh, here we're heading to 120, 20, uh, 120, 121. Just here somewhere. Another tree. Um, yeah, what did he, uh, look, look, look. but when we'll do and go down a bit to about 80, I think, and we'll try that first off. This place, uh, yesterday was given up, not to me, but to Mr. Crossy. Uh, a lot of the, uh, black shimmers. So we'll see how they go today. Now that 80 depth could be dragging on the bottom. Not sure. No, it doesn't look too bad now. Liberian still at trait 9, okay. No, I'm not worried about 9 kilo fish. Current runs a bit quicker here. Oh, we got something here. Here we are, that's the one we're looking for. 100 gram fish, you get 1000 XP. That's our target. Get a bag full of them little suckers. Not this time. So, uh,
I'm a Texas Texas five. Wow. I'm seeing me getting more tap a little bit further down there. Let's see if we can uh what you see here. Yeah, you keep tempting me water around. I think I should be there. Well, there we go. Some little tap there. Nice. Okay. Well, we don't want that one. He's too small. We'll take his mum and dad though, I reckon. Come on, little fish, don't let us down. Keep us busy. Keep the viewers happy. Jump on. Bang, that one went down. Oh, you son of a gun. Going to change bait then as well, but uh, just on the strength of that little dive there, we'll go one more time with the blood worm. I'll do this for those only. Wow. Uh, well, what's the time? I'll we'll give another 10 or 15 minutes here at uh, Donuts and uh, we might come and have a look at Tunguska. I've never done real well there. Yesterday we it was uh, less than spectacular. What have you got this time? Another dice, but at least he's a uh, lot. Nearly a thousand XP for a small fish is not bad, is it? Not bad at all. So this exact spot I'm standing in is not a spot that anyone gave to me. It's just that. We were fishing that one twenty one twenty one, and we're getting bites towards the end of the run. So just moved here a little bit. Seems to be better here. We do have another spot further down. Ah, oh, so frustrating when that happens. God, how many times has that happened today? Thirty. Yeah, I'm probably ha probably happy to give the carp a rest for today, and uh, I was hoping I'd level up a bit, late level a little more, Nave. To be honest, I've only gone up like point three, point four today and yesterday. Yeah, one half kilo. I get I could get a two hundred gram um, Jamaica and get that. Just got to find them again. Like a pumpkin fish, is it? Yeah, too small. How many of them buggers we caught today and throw them back? I don't keep them because uh, Rossi tried keeping all the clupanella last night that he had, and anything that didn't have a tag on it was three cents. So, not really much point in it, to be honest. This uh, fills it, makes your bag look good, I guess. Okay, what do we got here? Eight hundred and fifty for eighty-five grams. <laughs> okay. 
I want to catch a 200 grand one to show you. You get 2,000 XP for it. I don't even know how big they go. Um, whether you can get one half a kilo or something, that would be crazy. <laughs> Well, should be able to get that in an afternoon, surely. <laughs> what have I got? I don't know. It's, it must even try and work out. Millions. <laughs> and all mine's going to do is open up the last water body that no one wants to fish there because there's no fish there. I read a lot of complaining about that on the VK forum this morning. Okay, let's uh, try a bait change, see what happens. We'll put a cast on it. Now, if I had a uh, sandwich, if I could sandwich, I'd have both of those. I'd have a cast and a blood one, but I'm a long, long way away from that. Uh, that is what I would have. Yeah, all I'm trying to do now is make some money. I want to buy um, a Kingfisher Legacy Rod. Uh, a pumpkin seed fish. Please be tagged. Cute. And then hopefully I'll get my bottom fishing up to uh, 95%. And then you get plus 5% for the rod so I can uh, use PVA on that one. That's kind of an aim I've got at the moment. I think they're not that dear, the rod. I think well, someone worked out his saving. Yeah. Whatever they mind. After I get that rod, um, that would have to be my next target because that, because that the rod is uh, way too strong, really, for the alpha reels. So um, you're going yeah, gonna to need a Tagara to match it up. But I think just, just to be able to get the PVA out there is, is going to make a big difference. Nothing this time, boy. Give a couple more casts here. It's getting late as well. I wonder if it's worth throwing the um, bottom rods out here and having a go. What's the bottom rock here? Pretty much the same everywhere, isn't it? Oh, where are you? A sickle. We went up another point one. Bought a couple of them today. Uh, I don't fish here. I think this is probably only the third, uh, maybe only the second time I've actually streamed from here. I've probably known about my third or fourth visit here in total and i only came here on the back of watching uh mr crossy last night um he had a bit of fun and uh catching quite a variety of fish and, and i was actually fishing from the boat house the same time he was for a while last night uh just before he went off stream oh what have we got here there's a testimony of patience this one Uh, only 100 grams. Oh, we jumped up to 0.2 there, though, on that fellow. I think there's something happens at 45. I think I'll get something opens up. Yeah, you were watching as well? Yeah. It just seemed like he was having a bit of fun, and um, it was as dark. Yeah, and I actually jumped in. Probably for the last half hour of his stream, I was actually fishing off there as well. Um and I thought, well, why not come and have a play today? Um, I'd like to catch a 200 gram shumaya, get 
a couple of thousand points. Come on. Oh. Nice, Taryn. A thousand. 300 grams. What was this one for? About 75 types of fish. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Hell, it's dark. I don't think I can change my settings either, can I? I'm not. Oh, here we go. Made it a little better. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm just going to fish uh, during my normal time, but. Um, yeah, I won't be back on the game till tomorrow. Um, I think it's like 10 p.m. my time by the time they finish today. Um, and I don't know if there's any Australian guys, but um, there's a, a boxing match on tonight in Australia. So mid-afternoon for me. Um, we've got a couple of mates coming around. We're going to have a barbecue and... Normally have copious quantities of oh, white bread, 215. Copious quantities of alcohol will be consumed and um, we'll definitely won't be fishing after that. Should be a, a good fight. Um, yeah. Uh, if there's any boxing fans, have you ever heard of Tim Zhu or his father was Costa Zhu, who's a multiple world champion? And Tim's uh, destroyed everybody he put in front of him so far. And I think after, if he does, he kills this guy tonight, he'll get a world title fight. One of the reasons I don't stream on weekends is because uh, Saturday and Sunday mornings, um, it's always when the either boxing or uh, the UFC is on. So I'd rather watch that than stream. Look at the size of this thing. Come on, get out. I could put a slightly bigger hook on. I think um, Crossy might have been using an 18 at one stage. I've only got a 20 on. Yeah, we have a bit of fun. Um, it's all like the guys are the guys are Australian. We've all got tired girlfriends or wives, and the girls are, all, all get on like crazy. Tackle away as they do. And we just sit around and drink beer and... Do whatever we wanted to. They do all the cooking, cleaning, and everything else. We have to do nothing. We're we'll getting a few hits when we get close to this dead branch down here. The drink and beer or the barbecue, I think both. But normally if you go to an Australian barbecue, it's the bloke that does the cooking. Uh, the girls here, they won't let you cook. Eh, we'll try barbecue. Yeah, they want to do everything. Uh, we're more than happy to let them do that. I think we'll just give it a few more minutes here and then we might uh, chuff off the Tunguska and go and have a look up there. And we now got a spot or two we can try. We've done all right here. I'm not complaining. 31 in the bag. Um, probably not that much over an hour, is it? Hour, not, not quite an hour and a half, I suppose. But Jesus, we caught a lot more fish than this. Throwing so many back. All right, I think we'll um, call it there. We shall run back up. We'll check the uh, cafe, and then we'll we'll do what we did um, from winding. We'll check how much money we can get from here, and then we'll take them to Tunguska and see how much we get for them there. I think we made, uh, I mean, we're going to come here anyway, so the travel really becomes irrelevant if you're going to go there anyway. Uh, we got an extra 
16 silver by bringing them here. So basically, we came here for free. Travel was, I think it's about 1690 or something to travel here. I do like this map, I, I, even though the, the fishing's not fantastic, or, or well, it can be fantastic if, you, if you're catching the right fish. Um, we didn't catch a lot of the right fish. There's the cafe. Here somewhere, in it? Yeah, here. Um, yeah, we caught some of the right fish, but not all of them. Right, let's see if we got any pickle. We didn't catch four of them. Probably got these, though. That's 12 for nothing, really. Uh, two. We only got one. Kitty. Oh, look at that. One kilo knife. Two. Oh, we only got one, you bugger. Grass cut. I reckon I got busted off by one of them a long time ago. I don't think we got two rudd either, did we? No. Uh, which, see now, if I kept the small ones, we could have had that. I caught at least three awful eyes ahead going, bud. Uh, uh, the spot was pretty good, mate. Not too bad at all. Certainly can't complain. And then we went down and, uh, damn it, I should have checked for this. Because I this is uh, not a tagged fish, but thirty bucks is for them anyway. Trick for trick for new players there. Um, yeah, we did quite reasonable, Gravis. Um, we got one tagged uh, white-eyed bream, but we caught a swag of um, bummins there. Let's see what our price is here? There's like these nice ten bucks. White-eyed bream seven. I mean, the, the money wise, they're, they're, they're pretty damn decent. 366 for 100 gram fish. So 96, and uh, so we've got over 100, but we're going to take these up to uh, Tunguska, so 96. Okay, nah. Too hard, all flies are too hard. Um, but they're not uh, that easy to get. Yeah, for me, if I, if they don't have a mark on them, I chuck them back. And I, and I know a lot of I've been caught out so many bloody times. Um, yeah, fish market here. Yeah. There isn't it? Yeah, I've been caught out so many times that um keeping uh, non tag fish. But hundred bucks here, ninety nine dollars. So we made what another seven or eight or something. I reckon it's my, I'm going to say roughly five percent you make. Okay, fish oil. Yeah, yeah. I've got to spend more time there. I really do. Um, whether I do it on or off stream, uh, I'm not sure. But um, I think uh, I had a bit of fun there for an hour, hour, hour and a bit this morning. I hope everyone else did. Where we got to go here? Up here somewhere, I think, isn't it? B5. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, I did. There's, I caught some other different species last night that I um. Didn't catch today, but yeah, you, know, you get that. Um, all in all, it's pretty. Uh, I was pretty happy with what we got there. I think they need to put a quad bike in this uh, map.
or uh, almost a helicopter. Where are we going here? The end of the map, are we? Is that where the spot is? It looks like it. So we're going past it, I reckon. I can back here, yeah? 40. Between them rocks there. Yeah, looks felt like somewhere I saw fishing. Um, yeah, I think we'll bring the big guns out for this. Now, where are you? Right. Just matters where you cast. You said something about a yellow tree somewhere, if I remember correctly. I can see lots of yellow trees, unless you're talking about these little ones. Okay. Right, I'm going to change the setup here. Uh, yeah, loop rigs. Yeah, I don't think there was uh better put these heavy buggers on we'll try. It doesn't matter, it just matters where. Um probably don't need that on there. I don't have any any heavy duty ones though. Yeah, we'll leave that on there. Yeah. I've got I've got two a hook written down there, but uh thought that's the right one. Now, what was my target, uh, horse name? Anywhere out there? Or aiming for that bear patch there or something? These little trees, maybe, on the end of the road? A little left. Further left? Yellow tree. This one here. Oh, far away. All right. There's one in there. Let's see. Jeez, it looks like a bit of current drags you back this way a bit. Uh, we'll leave that one. I'll need 90 grams as heavy as the other one. Then we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one. Have we got all night crawlers? Ah, okay, six, six, uh, six point one, nice. Yeah, keep the strength up because I know we're going to catch lots of fish here. I hope so, anyway. I'll leave that one on, leave that one on. Ooh, 20 cent where? I think we'll change that one. Brand new one there. I think I've got a fish on there as well. Jumping around a bit. Yep, fish on the first one. Oh, 
one of yours have been out today, so uh, I haven't got anything set. See what we got here. Rabbit, maybe. I think you might be right. No, oh, that's a catfish, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. I think that's uh, my virgin aim of a catfish. Seven and a half thousand XP. I'll take that. Thank you. Well, it's nice when you get a few beggars in the chat, isn't it? In the in-game chat. Yeah. Oh, wow, 50 silver. Beautiful. If not more, okay. Okay, now that uh, yellow tree out there stands out a bit more now. That one there, I'm guessing you're talking about. So now we just have to see what the bite rate's like. Uh, you have any joy digging here? Or? Scoop between the rocks. Failed. Wow. Thank you for that. So is it uh, daytime fishing better here or nighttime fishing better? Oh, there we go again, not a bite. Now should be the best, okay. Early morning. I think we got him there. Even sometimes in the afternoon, okay. Well, if it mixes it up a bit, that's fine. Temperature, yep. Here's our little burbot. Well, he's a he's not a burbot, he's a piece of bait to catch an eel. Oh, I wonder if I've still got a clip on this rod. You know that? I might have a clip on that one. Could be causing me some grief having a clip. Anyway. Bring it in and check it out. 